away in December. This is the scripture that I keep reading at least once a day. Revelation 21. I want to read it for you because it's been bringing me a lot of comfort as I walk through fire with my family. And I pick up at verse 3. And by the way, I told the folks at chapel services the other morning, uh, I love that I can have my phone, uh, my Bible on my phone, and I can make the font as big as I want. <laughs> I can't read my paper Bible anymore, so uh, this is keeping me from having to have glasses and readers. <laughs> and I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself will be their God. And then God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. When I read the Bible, I just have to stop when I read something like that. I'm like, really? God's going to touch my face? He's going to touch your face and wipe away? Whew, man. Then the cold chills, the glory bumps get all over my arm. And it gets better. And he says, there will be no more death. Praise the Lord. There'll be no more sorrow. Praise the Lord. No more crying. Yes. And there'll be no more pain. Yes. I'll be able to dunk in heaven. No, it doesn't say that. For the former things have passed away. And he who sits on the throne says, Behold, I'm making all things new. Hey, let me remind you, my brothers and my sisters... Hey, this world is not our home. Heaven is. <laughs>